This is the Colo, the wheel, performed by Yugoslav youth in the town hall of Auckland City. Even now in the liberated villages of their native land, the symbolic Colo is being performed. There is here to the continuous music of the tamboritzas. <laughs> occupied Europe, no people has inflicted more damage upon the Nazi invader than have the tough farmers of Yugoslavia. Their songs and dances are a symbol of the peasant spirit, surviving invasion, persecution, and internal differences. The wheel turns, the wheel of defense, the colo. The dance is done to the old pattern, the men without, the women within. Though today in the homeland, many a girl with rifle or machine gun is on the outside of the ring of defense, fighting our common enemies. This dance symbolizes the will to win of a splendid fighting people. Americans enter the suburbs of Rome, past evidence of the previous day's fighting when Germans covered their withdrawal, past the children who hand them flowers, past bomb damage. There are many who anxiously await the Allied soldiers, Italians who want freedom from their German overlords and freedom from the fear of being dragged off to forced labor. who want freedom of conscience and of faith. And arriving from all sorts of hiding places come those who want the freedom of being among their own people, the knowledge that they're safe at last. A New Zealand priest of the Vatican farewells New Zealanders who found sanctuary within the walls of the Papal State. Some Italians risked much shielding Allied soldiers. But one of the bravest was this colonel in charge of a military hospital who is saying goodbye to the men he hid under the very noses of the Germans. They're safe now, and his faith in the Allied advance was justified. Beyond the German lines are many more awaiting escape and the freedom that these men have found. It's pleasant to sit in the sun on a fine morning. A lot of elderly men haven't much else they can do, as they have to be out of their lodgings by 10 o'clock in the morning and can't go back until night. You can stop and have a yarn with your friends, but as a busy city goes to work, there are not many places for old men. Wellington City Mission runs an old age pensioners club and here you can sit and read or play cards and it's pretty snug, especially on a wet day. They put on a good meal too, it only costs fourpence and there's plenty of variety. A 
course, there's still the coupon question, which is looked after by the secretary of the Old Age Pensioners Society and the city missioner. After dinner, a good book from the library or a glance at the wall newspaper, the Taranaki Street Tribune. At night, a boys' club uses the rooms. There are games, including table tennis and even billiards. Of course, the more studious can read. Many of the boys have come from homes near the mission, and some are from the Field and Taylor Boys Hostel. A committee meets to discuss business, and in the evenings there's plenty to keep a boy out of mischief. Most of the boys at the hostel are apprentices or cadets, many in war jobs, who would otherwise not be able to find proper accommodation. Some are from homes that have been broken up. The hostel gives them a home, security and interests. This is a New Zealand boys' town. Those who prefer more exciting pastimes have the gym, and a boxing contest sees the boys in action. Many New Zealand champions are old boys of the hostel. Referee Finn Stone will probably see them later in senior matches. The little fellows are as willing as the big ones, and many local residents turn out to see the future champions in action. The standard of boxing is high, and appreciative members of the audience are Jack Crowley and Johnny Summers, ex-Lonsdale belt holder and ex-lightweight champion of the British Empire, who are watching this exhibition bout by Tommy Hansen, Wellington welterweight. It may be wondered what all this has to do with religion. The city missioner, the Reverend Harry Squires, believes it has a lot to do with it. Basing much of his work on that of Father Flanagan of Boys Town, he says, work on the same principles as Father Flanagan in Boys Town. And the people who come to us are trained to run their own show. And within the mission, we teach that there are three places of equal importance. The dining room, the chapel, and the gym. And believe me, it works. <laughs> 